Meghalaya is full of nature's wonder and beautiful sightseeings. Although I have spent my whole university life in Meghalaya, but still there are many more to explore. So guys, let me take you to one of the most amazing unexplored place, the Garden of Caves. Hello everyone, I'm Tridevi Boro. Welcome back to my channel. Guys, today I'm going to take you to the most amazing place known as Garden of Caves, which is in Meghalaya, Shillong. And this place is full of small caves and waterfalls. So guys, let's explore. Come with me. So guys, today I'm going to visit the most beautiful and amazing place the garden of caves and i am super duper excited because i have never been there and guys it is 143 kilometers from guwahati my place and it takes four hours to reach there so guys we are here in the petrol pump to refill petrol Fifteen hundred ka dijiye. Guys, the time right now is 11.45 and we have started our journey around 10 a.m. in the morning and I didn't have my breakfast and I'm very hungry. Right now I'm going to have my breakfast in Barapani. Near Barapani there is a well-known restaurant. So we are about to reach. So I'm going to have it there now. guys we have reached the restaurant the name of this restaurant is the hills cafe and restaurant so now we are going to have our breakfast as usual i have ordered chicken hakka noodles and special garlic chicken mushroom noodles because i love chinese so guys i had my breakfast and now we are Moving to our destination, the Garden of Caves. Bad skies and countryside, it all comes flooding back to me. What a color when we had each other, caught up in the memory. Of it's raining, guys. It's raining here in this upper part of Shillong, Meghalaya. As we already know, Chirapunji is famous for rain. When we talk all night, drinking cheap white wine, I let you see my darkness. Then I fell in love, but you gave me up, I still don't know. Uh, Garden of Caves. It's this way. Okay. Thank you. Koblay. So guys, we have reached our destination and this is the parking place and the rain also stopped. 
so we will going to explore now so guys this is the parking area and here i am Two sixty. Camera is always hundred piece. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So, guys, here is my ticket. This way. After this, we have to go this way. Okay, thank you. Here begins the first spot, Palong Siem. Its name is literally translated to the King's Cave. The rock is carved into bed and pillow like structures. The king or the tribal chief used to sleep here. The Kasit Sam Siem waterfall flows nearby this bed. Okay. Come your name? Uh, Suma. Suma. Okay. Can you just explain our viewers? Okay. Okay. Uh, this is a pink paper or a bed or pillow. Oh, bed and pillow. Yes, yes. Wow, this is quite interesting, guys. You can see this is the bed and here okay. it's the pillow. Okay. Ancient people used to sleep here or what? Yes. Oh, okay. Nice. Very interesting. Wow, guys. Just look at this place, guys. It's pretty amazing. So, guys, the next spot is Kasit Sam Siem Waterfall. It is a unique waterfall in this whole garden of caves, which flows along a naturally carved opening through the rock. It is believed that the tribal chief takes bath here. This waterfall seems like a natural shower through which the sky is visible. Guys, in ancient time when the British invaded this place, then the local people used to hide in these caves. Here comes another waterfall which looks quite great. The stay Mau rocks lay in front of this waterfall. Guys, this is from where the real cave begins. The name of this cave is Karem Badong. So guys, from here the cave Kakrem Badong begins. And here I am going to enter inside this cave and I have to protect my head because the road is a bit narrow here. And guys, I'm going to show you what's inside the cave. So, come. So guys, here we have reached the longest cave in the whole garden of caves. The name of this cave is Kakrem Badong Thai Mai. It was recently discovered in the year 2019. So guys, see how big, how huge this cave is. As it's raining, the water has come here also, guys. Look at this water. <laughs> this is the rain water. So this way, where it goes to the exit point of this cave. So, 
This is the exit point, guys. <laughs> Very interesting cave, really. Nature's wonder. Very, very beautiful place. And see the view, the ultimate view. So again, there is a waterfall, guys. This place is full of waterfalls and all the waterfalls look so heavenly here. Look at this waterfall now. of this garden of caves is 2.5 hectares it's such a huge area isn't it and this is the tallest waterfall in this whole garden of caves the name of this waterfall is umblai waterfall Guys, this rock cut looks like a baby in the mother's womb. It's in the shape of human embryo. This is really the magic of mother nature. After crossing this bamboo bridge, you will get to see this water sprout coming out of an opening inside a rock. This sprout of water is known as Umdawai, which has magical properties in it. And the local out here believes that it has medicinal properties and you can really keep your health good by drinking the water from here. So let's drink. So guys, this is the heart shaped rock out here. It's very beautiful. It's in the shape of heart. So guys, here I'm going to end my today's travel vlog on this very beautiful garden of caves. I hope you like my today's vlog. Then please hit the like button, subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for more updates. Till then, stay tuned. Bye-bye. Yeah, I saw the